Hello everyone, we are back to do our new Belgian drive. This is going to be the last drive today out of Asheville. Uh, obviously, it is getting dark, and so that is going to definitely affect how we drive. Um, let's see if we can get it to enable it all. Hopefully, this isn't going to glitch. There, wait, it's coming back. There it goes. Okay. Let's see how it does here. This drive historically has had two, like this is a pretty crazy, like if you look at navigation here, it's a pretty like somewhat complex drive. It has a lot of different turns and all over the place. And I've twice on two different versions had zero disengagements on this drive. So this is a, it's a, it's a good baseline test. It seems to be a good complicated, a lot of right turns, a lot of left turns. And it seems to overall just be a good stress test for the car. And the car has again, um, twice, made zero disengagements now it keeps on going forward even though these cars like these cars are probably ticked to me because uh it keeps on going forward and towards the cars giving them less room um first time it's ever kind of done that uh, where it's kind of gone in the right lane more than the left center lane okay it's good to go it's creeping for visibility is what it's saying here. Okay, I'm pressing it to go. Okay, come on. There you go. Did you go? Um. Let's, oh, we're not gonna make it through the light. Please don't try and go. Please don't try and go. Or anyways, okay. Good. It was gonna try and go. If I if I was there a couple seconds earlier, I would have tried tried to go. Oh, and we have to do it school buses too, huh? Interesting. Let's try to do it right on red. Uh, don't go, don't do it. This So this version has increased perception. I don't, I don't know the right, right word for it. It's actually good to go, I think. Wow, this car straight up made a turn from the wrong lane. I think, I swear that's how full cell driving gets his bad habits, or from humans. I've seen, since starting the beta, like, so many examples of humans turning from the wrong lane. Like, at least five times. I didn't realize it happened that often. Well, um, it was straight up just gonna miss that turn. So that was a disengagement, everyone. By far the most traffic I've ever seen on this, um, this section. So, obviously, rush hour, uh, right after five, um, is doing it for us. See how it does on this turn. It seems a little bit aggressive to come uh, of a break. I just wish it, was, it could just slow more smoothly and it stops. Ooh, I'm not gonna like this. No. Yeah, too much for that one. Good thing I have the 360 camera, you can see. Um, I don't know if I even want to re-enable it. It should be able to see, the B-pillar should be able to see the cars coming. Now it's, it's probably gonna try and go. Okay, now I can see it, good. And there's a mo moped dude next to me. Um, so, I, I can go. Okay, so there's two disengagements of this drive so far, and it's gonna miss this turn. I actually took this road into Asheville earlier. Yeah, it misses this turn every single time. Or turn, not turn. It gets in the turn lane when it shouldn't get in the turn lane. Wow, and it tries to get out of the turn lane. We need to go straight. I know it, it can even see this turn turn single here. Uh, it does that far too often. It, they just, I don't understand from a neural net standpoint, I'm like, I, I, I need to like do some research and understand. I need to take a class in neural nets. Maybe I can explain to everyone once I figure out the answer myself. But to me, I'm like, they can just, I understand neural nets as you give it a whole bunch of training sets, a whole bunch of data. I'm like, basically like, here, here are a bunch of stop signs. Learn what a stop sign is, and so it analyzes it, and now it knows what a stop sign is, so it's really good at detecting stop signs. It should do the same thing for left arrows and right arrows. If it sees a left arrow, that means you're in a left turn lane. It... it I don't know, I can't think of any situation where you would see a left arrow on the road in the middle of a lane and you wouldn't, and that would not be a left turn lane. They need to just add a training set 
is my understanding for the left turn lanes and so I can recognize that better and maybe they just haven't done that yet or maybe they have and it's just not very good maybe they just don't have a wide enough training set and also that I was trying to go around this car um, over the yellow line um, you always got to pay attention waiting on our turn um, it could have started creeping But yeah, definitely, this seems to be a downgrade. Now, it's not a fair comparison. It's not the same time of day. I, I will give it that. It is not the same time of day. So it's not a true fair comparison. Um, also, this is where we're going to end, isn't it? Okay. So that's not a disengagement. I'll be using the There is a car coming down this road. Pretty sure. Oh. Yeah, okay. Okay. Yeah. As you can see, um, my car decided at the last minute it was gonna like go for it, even though it shouldn't have. It shouldn't have stayed. Okay. Somehow it makes this every single time. Not once has it ever failed this. And I had no idea how. It's a, it's a pretty complicated set of maneuvers. To go through there and it kind of always hesitates right here because of these cones it always makes this it, it not once has it not made all this it seems really odd to me it seems like that's such a complicated area that it would fail but not once has it failed that um so it's, i find that to be really interesting so what we're going to do is pull over right here this is not a disengagement <laughs> Break. Oh, it saw that stop sign back there and thought it was for us. Okay, I'm having to give that this car more room. Okay, completely failed that turn. Like, super completely failed that turn. Um... Yeah, I don't. I think it's because it's such bad. It's such different lighting that it just can't. Um, it just it's just not as good in this type of lighting. I mean, you can see how it's much darker than how it normally would be uh, on this type of route. Again, if you if you're not aware, I put all these videos in playlists. So if you want to go back and compare side by side how it responds to different turns, how it responds to different lanes. You can view them side by side and see how each video does. Eventually what I'm gonna do, um, hopefully in the next month or so, I'm gonna try by the end of the year to get a couple of these out. I wanna try and get a side by side comparison. Like I'll just kinda play, I won't do the whole video because obviously it will never line up because of stoplights and everything. But I will do like certain like clips and be like, okay, we're gonna, let's go through this light, not turn into the BMW. <laughs> Let's go ahead and do that. Um, yeah, and now that might have been, I was pressing the accelerator. Every time I press the accelerator, it just overreacts and just do, it doesn't make the right move. So I'm gonna blame myself for that um, versus the car trying to make that move because it, I, when I try and force it to go faster, it just really, it, if you notice how the tentacle moves, uh, it'll like flip left or right very quickly and so what it, what will happen is that it will uh, flip the le uh, like it'll flip further left and that's was going to go into that bmw and as i was pressing the accelerator me pressing the accelerator tells it to commit to that incorrect path and um so that's likely was my fault that caused that so this morning um i came through here there is a forklift, I don't know what you call this, like a tall, like a extension boom arm. Okay, and it failed this. The cones added that extra com level of complexity. It just doesn't like the bike lane with the cones. But this morning, I came from where these cars right here are coming and turned onto this road here. Uh, the cones are right where I'm driving right now. They were in the middle of the road. So I had to drive over the middle lane. But the car did it all on its own. It followed the path of the cones rather than the yellow line. So it did that perfectly. I don't have it on video, unfortunately. 
But um, this morning it came through. Well, actually, it wasn't the morning. It was this afternoon. Um, earlier this afternoon, um, it did that, and um, and uh, yeah, basically did it perfectly. I was pretty surprised. I'm very pleasantly surprised by that. Let's see how it does this. Ooh, crap. Okay. Yep. I think because of the low light, it was not. It was not able to see that properly. Why is it turning on the blinker? There you go. Okay. Uh, I was trying to turn off the blinker, and I think it kept on turning on the wrong blinker. Um, yeah, let's see here. I'm having to press the seller. Oh, wow. Okay. I'm almost positive it's not seeing these curves as well because it's dark. Far too hesitant still in these roundabouts. I think only one update ever ever did these roundabouts. How I would say like it'd be perfect. Um, yeah. Yeah. One more chance, and it's already sucking. What? Okay. No, we don't have to stop there. We do have to stop now. When the car's coming like this. You got a full-on yield for him. After this white car here, we should be able to go. Right there, yep. You think? Okay, it was doing the right thing. I pressed it to get into the, into the roundabout. I didn't mess up on that curb this time, so that's good. But it's still incredibly hesitant going around this roundabout. Wow, it just, I think I might have just curved my wheel. It just drifted into the curb, everyone. Yeah, it doesn't see the curb. It's never done that before. It is absolutely terrible at night around here. It just can't see it. I'm, I'm very disappointed on that. I, I really hope my wheels didn't get curbed. <laughs> we'll find out soon enough in New Belgium. Um, I'm hoping these tires have a little bit more protection than my old ones, but you never know. It might have been the first wheel curb. Okay, okay, well, it made this, actually. And it's properly slowing for speed bumps again. Excellent. There's just, there was one update, and I think it was version 10. I want to say it was version 10. It did so well on this entire route. I was just like, keep it like that. It was like, it was amazingly good, I think. Um, forgot exactly which version 10 10.1 10.2 one of the two one of them but it was just so good uh and it's just it, it's not been as good as that since everything like made all the turns uh it was relatively smooth uh, this was pretty this is pretty good okay oh it thought there was some <laughs> Uh, well, you know, I noted the speed bump. Ew. Um, yeah. Didn't like that. Um, I didn't like that. The car was coming far too fast, and my car was not slowing down and getting over. Just in case I tried to turn into the back of that trash truck, being extra safe here. Don't need any, uh, as much as it would suck to get damage on my wheels, curb those. I've seen that model free here before. Uh, it would definitely, um, uh, what am I trying to say? It would definitely suck worse to have a dent inside of my car. Okay, 
so here is going to be a somewhat sketchy situation. Well, oh uh, yeah. Okay. That's just poor timing. I didn't trust the car to go around that blind corner. Um, that lady there. Let's see, we got one more um, right turn here with some high speed frost traffic. Got a car coming down. And I don't think anyone else is coming. No, we got one car we gotta stop for. Oh, if we just go for it, we're good. Okay. Oh, we went for it. <laughs> That was okay, I would have waited myself. Oh yeah. I, I was trying to go fast because the car was tailgating behind me. Um, actually, yeah. This is the end of this route, so I don't know how many disengagements that ended up being, but obviously much more than before. Uh, I'd say at least seven. This, this, is probably what, this is probably one of the worst times it's ever been. I'd say one of the worst drives I've ever had on this particular route. Um, so that's gonna be it for this drive, everyone. Let me know what you think down below. Um, I'm personally not happy. I, I'm gonna assume it has to do with it being dark uh, and port lighting. But um, yeah, if you have questions for me, just let me know down below and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching, everyone. Bye.